what is happening y'all welcome uh, we are finally going to check out Thymasia the name is loud might, might need to lower this more How, can y'all hear me okay do I gotta do I gotta knock this down to like like 30 I feel like it's super loud we'll, just, we'll knock it down there so, let's, uh, let's get right into it. I've heard a lot of mixed things. I've heard some people say it's really good and it's kind of like Sekiro. I've heard other people say it's not good and it's unpolished. Get in and find out. Wishes it was Sekiro, that's all I'll say. Sekiro with Bloodborne aesthetic, good combat, a lot more polish since the demo. Well, <clears throat> I got two hours to play and then refund if it's dookie. So we will find out. the commands and search for the core. RB to perform a saber. Use B to dodge enemy attacks. Yeah, so <clears throat> attack and dodge. What is this? Is there like a motion blur on? Hang on. That's got a um off sure It's slightly weird because, like, I'm seeing, you know, the <clears throat> that's like the the red the red execute dot from Sekiro, except we're just like smacking them instead. We're not like doing some crazy like punch the sword in sort of thing. Levels seem pretty pretty basic. Tear apart the bodies. can reave this fully charged claw released to reave a plague weapon damage to enemy wounds prevents them from healing vulnerable while charging so safer to perform on dazed use Y to cast reaved plague weapon it can only be used once super armor when casting but still takes damage it's like I have the axe now and I can press Y to use it a single time it's kind of out of the heel. <laughs> Get 
my my healing back. I have enough to, to level up yet or anything. Didn't activate anything. The only thing that's letting me. When green light appears before an enemy attack, they'll perform a critical that cannot be deflected. You must use feather attack. Throw a feather to interrupt an enemy. Regenerate throwing feathers over time. Leave wounds the enemy. Stop them from killing. Now, I didn't see the green flash. Did I need to... There's, so it's only when that is when he's doing his flash thing. Okay, and the green health is healing. I thought that was interrupt. One dodge, we don't get a sync double dodge either. Looks like I can parry. The timing is super tight. And the dodge isn't very good. The dodge is very short. You can't really get, yeah, like, I can't tell if I get iframes or not on the dodge. and parry can be upgraded so it's less punishing that's good to know because right now that window is tight Is there like loot at all? It seems like there's just consumables.
Just little lore snippets I can pick up, and that's it. Probably which way the boss is. This is probably like a shortcut or something. damage for you. Yeah, I can I can definitely see the uh the Sekiro esque nature here, but I don't know, so far I don't feel like it's as tight as it needs to be. Like the the parry timings and whatnot, they I don't know, it feels Sloppy, almost. Wait, you get hurt upon parry? What? I get the the fully charged. You just you know charge. You yoink the plague. Use the plague. Yoink the plague. Use the plague. That all makes sense. Am I taking damage on parry? Is that like something I need to upgrade? It's like our first boss. Hit me once and he's going unga bunga. What the fuck? Is that is that supposed? I guess that's supposed to happen. It's weird not having any. It's just just text. Jack, we're not getting on my lap right now. Am I supposed to go visit that area or like wander around here? Does this. Is this like the shrine of Ashina basically? Yeah, I'll look into Steel Rising. It's 
So we're going to the Sea of Trees. small increase. Plague. So let's, let's go, let's just go plague and regular damage, I guess. Balance. Cool. Three hit, five hit. Out in the air. Yeah, that sounds good for about deflect. Block. Reaved, cast equipped. Let's do the deflects. Increases deflect damage. Increase. Try that one. Parry timing sucks. I tried the easier parry, then got rid of it after the first boss. You can do a lot of timing. God, please use claw. This is killing me. Uh, free to leave, my guy. of the green.
How do you kitten an ocelot? Titillate an ocelot? I, I have no idea. New mortal shell worth it? Um, I don't know yet. I need I need some of the combat to open up because the base combat I'm a little lukewarm on. But it seems like there's a lot of features that will expand. Is there anything else over here? I feel like I should have been able to get the shortcut going this way. Maybe not. Like you just come over here and you drop down. I've heard it's how how long is it like ten hours if that. I'm supposed to go and this is some shortcut. Yeah, right now I'm gonna focus on on getting more talents to improve the parry and whatnot. So far, the the general exploration is is pretty dull. Just because, like, it's, I don't know, it's weird that there's, you know, we're not, we're not really finding items or chests, or it's just like, oh, here's a note, here's a note, here's a note, and it's just all text without really any, uh, there's no voice acting, so that's slightly off-putting, and I feel like we, we don't see a lot of action RPGs that are silent like this anymore. Big sword! Double kill! Should have hung on to that. I think it was cool. <laughs> First, you use the claw and do an attack. Second, quit the game. Lastly, get a refund. Birthday donos coming in. Happy belated birthday. Hope it was a good one. Was went out to dinner. Had a big old steak and some lobster tail. A couple glasses of wine. Got timed out. Seems like someone took the advice. You want to be fucking. Smart ass, bro. I'll ban you. I do not care. Here, you know what? Go go back in timeout since you want to be a smart ass. I didn't take your advice. Your advice was, oh my god, use the claw, use the claw. Meanwhile, I was testing the claw on the green health. To figure out what it does so get off your fucking high horse and sit back down either enjoy the show with your mouth shut or leave because you said use the claw use the claw and i used the claw and it did fucking nothing
Yeah, that parry timing. Tight, dude. No, it wasn't this way. Seems like, in theory, if you get good enough at the parry, that's, you should be able to just, it's weird. Because, like, with Sekiro, you know, you would just get the perfect deflect into a death blow. And this is, like, you need the perfect deflect into the claw attack into the death blow. But Sekiro, just with extra steps on top. I'm going too early a lot of the time on these parries. Oh, when I see they, if I don't. Don't chop away that green. Okay. So, Claw will remove the green, whereas that is going to continue the green gauge. So if I leave him alone, that green is going to fill back up. But I can throw that to just keep the gauge alive, basically. Okay. Now it's making sense. My guess is the executions are probably just random. I think I might go for the easier parry. The timing just feels so damn tight. That's definitely, it's not, it's not very visually feeling, that's... Oh, it's on cooldown. There's a fly in my office. Snuck in when the baby came from outside. There we go. The green bar is energy, which I can use on my other plague weapons that I don't have equipped yet. Office? Of course I do. Where do you think your mom rubs my feet every day, Chad? Come on.
Fly is dead. Landed on the backlight, and I killed it with my ninja speed flicks. Your full-time job? Uh, full-time job is part-time job now. No more fly. Like a boss fight area, probably. Oh, here we go. Nice. So far, um... I'm lukewarm on it. Like, there's definitely... I don't know. There's... There's, there's a bit of jank. It's definitely ahead of, like, Hellpoint and Dolmen. Um, I would put it below Mortal Shell. But so far, it's it's enjoyable. It's different. It doesn't give any healthcare benefits. Correct. That's why I like those foot rubs so much. Oh, cool. Hand axe. Break enemy super armor. Mm, and then I can level up to increase certain plague weapons. That's interesting. And then I guess I get talent points. I get 25 talent points total. Let's uh, put some in health. Um, reflect. Reflect enemy critical attacks, but Corvus will be knocked back and gain once. Whatever, don't care. Reflect. Can I get both of these? No, I have to pick a tree. Hmm. No, let me... Hang on. Since I have... This is a good opportunity. Let me test this, and then I'll test the boss. Energy. So that would allow me to use my other thing more. What else is there? Wall. Long call is increased by 30. Wait, is it doing attack, attack, claw? Hmm. It's an enemy. Oh, that's kind of cool. Or it gives the enemy one stack of bleeding on the second long claw. A big long claw. Super armor, one stack of offensive and defensive. Energy gets restored. In the air, feathers I don't care about, strategies. Spend the time not worried about that. That just gives me more plague weapons. Um, five hit combo with the saber. I don't care about jump attack. I mean, this might be good just for progressing through levels. Yeah, why not? That'll that'll be good. Still your favorite sword? Yes, by far. Ooh, big chungi. Hammer skill shards. I don't know if that was a boss. Man, I think he felt he felt more like a mini boss to me. Um, 
Four potions. Remember. Okay. 250% attack damage and 250% of the amount of wounds. Reduce damage intake while casting. 400% plus 150. So 500% split, probably like that more. I'd like the hammer. Let's level up our leg. Um, I need the claw attack, I think. Oh, I need this one, the short range, so I can... The offensive buff, whatever that does. I don't know what just happened, but I, I whooped some ass. Is that what I just unlocked? So I don't think... Was I always able to do that with the claw? I don't think I was, right? Belated happy birthday. Thanks, Simon. Appreciate that. Yeah, the feather interrupt seems extra tight. Do something. So, I have the charge, or I have my normal claw attack. And so, with the claw, I can either... Right again, after the long claw, to perform a second attack. So, I can make the charging long claw better. Or, I could work in super speedy short claw combos. Hmm... Does the charge remove wounds as well? Because that seems kind of cool. Only after the charge, or could I, like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay, so it's a question of if I want to have the combo, or have the one-two. The one-two seems pretty good, I don't know. I like that it's like auto finishing. I think I like the faster one more. I know it has the bleed, but the faster one can heal you on hit with your offensive stacks. That also sounds like a very useful perk. Yeah, it looks like the charge is separate. Charges and charges. The charge is strictly there for for me to yank stuff.
So glad I came here and found the note. Wow. Controls are okay. Parry is... I might, I might go for the easier parry timing because it doesn't feel tight enough. Like, oh, I don't know. It feels overly tight, I think, is, is probably what I'm trying to say. Ow. 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 Dude! Holy shit. There is the bulbous ass thing that's is it up top. I don't see it. Also, I really don't like just finding fucking notes. When I'm exploring, I like to be rewarded. Notes are not rewarding. Like, oh, cool, lore. This game hasn't done anything to get me interested in the lore. But everything I can tell, it's the plague and we're hunting stuff. So now that we're actually using energy, energy gain is super, super low. Stop it. Ooh, whoa, lady. Tried to do the throw thing. We're gonna... Take that away. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go there. One stack of offensive buff. So I get five hits in and then I start leeching hell. If I'm understanding correctly. Sounds really good. Yeah, that's already five stacks of offensive. Okay, this seems better. Yeah, that's not that's not totally broken at all or anything. Just just full heal myself rapidly off of some scrub enemy. Totally not OP. Let 
definitely not going to break the game moving forward using that. Demon Souls and Neo 2 in the backlog, which comes first, Demon Souls. Because Neo will eat up hours on end. So you won't get Demon Souls out of the way first. Because it's shorter. Oh boy, we're all coming out to play, are we? Okay, well, let's see. Come on, it's them! With easier parries and fast claw, I'm pretty sure I could just spam claw and into parry and just never get hurt. Uh, it's growing on me. A lot of like randomness, certain stuff that I'm not 100%. I'm, what are you doing? Stop now. And open from this side. Isn't that literally the room I was just in? Not. 
how fast it comes out. This guy seems angry. I could vacuum this shit out one more time. There's got to be a shortcut back to this place that I, I missed. I found that one thing, that one uh, locked door. I think that's like, isn't it this way? That's the one that I just, went. that one right there. Where was the other locked door that I just got the key for? Not that one. Did y'all stop? Let me compare this game to our typical Souls games. Eh, it's okay. Parrying needs needs work still, honestly. It was down here, right? Down here? No, this is where I was just dropping, I think. I'm also not too big on their level design. The levels it's like it's like a whole it's like a sepia color scheme over everything it's very easy to lose track of where i'm going i'm talking about not the shortcut door but <clears throat> the key i got from the mini boss i'm trying to find the door that that opens there we go Very, very Blight Town esque. Yeah, the Market Secret Room. Because I remember I found the Market Secret Room on the way to the boss. And it was like, you need the Market Secret Room key to open this. And I was like, oh, well, I have that now. I went that way. Oh, where did I go? Did I go past y'all? Yeah, I went past this. Right, 
That's the one I remember seeing. Walk through for this? No. Well, right now the goal is I, I gotta find my, my experience, wherever the hell that's at. these fucking doors that I can't open. There's not even like an interaction. Is it just like a, is it all a fake door? Found this at least. short dodge long dodge be towards the enemy right before their critical attack so I can jump that's like the Makiri counter So this is like a whole second area. Bunch of shit I gotta kill still. Alright, that's that door that I kept seeing. So this is uh, where I fought. That's his my face. where I fought the claw guy? Yeah, it is. Thank you. 
Easy. I think we're done. No, I gotta go back to that other door. Yeah, it was farther back. Yeah, no, the, the collectibles very much just kind of give a... Uh, it's like busy work, honestly. Like there's there's nothing about like ooh a collectible. I just don't care. It's like a far drop. I think it's down to where that guy was. I had to go farther back to find that door. Yeah, Fisty's dead. Now I'm trying to find a magical treasure room door thing. This way? What was it? I don't remember being this far back. No, yeah, it's weird, because, like, the level is fairly linear, but it's it's just super hard to keep track of where you're going. Also weird, like I guess I just keep leveling everything evenly. Cause like you need your plague, your like, you need you need to use all of it. Build the enemy counterattack stage less, or increase the damage. For the building with the two ladders. This one? It's weird because we very quickly have become like... We shred everything. the slider and sprint up the ladder that's nice this is where I fight my way through I 
Oh, wait. Stop it. No, wait. I think that was it. I think I just got... Remember how the hell I got over there? I think I was like dropping off of shit. Yeah, here we go. And down and. Oh, and that brings me back here. God damn it. I think I dropped on the wrong side. Yeah, this game could definitely use like some like prism stones. That's that I came all the way here for lore lady, bro. This is whack. Mega disappointment unlocked. Finish all the Ruin King. I did not, but Ruin King was pretty good from what I got to play. Say the KU for all your walks, guys. I'm a new bat playing video games, but made it through Dark Souls 3 thanks to you. Watching and playing the right on you. And with all the stuff growing out of them, this is. It's basically. Just Dark Souls meets The Last of Us. Except with more confusing level design. What have we unlocked? We've unlocked the fist so I can pound the ground and the halberd. The halberd OP. Let's put. Let's see. 400% plus 150. First two jabs deal 250. Third jab deals 250. Plus 150 amount of wounds. Yeah, it seems like a clear winner to me. 100% plus 300% of wounds. So if we're doing, if we're wounding a lot, that's good. What can I? Oh, wow. But I like this more. I guess I could unlock the thing that gives me two of them. If it matters. Oh, that's right. I also got more healing. This is, uh... Now, what do I do with my potion? I unlocked a slot. Craft. Health recovery plus 46. Wow, 5%. Amazing. Is it 
the mini boss lady that I missed if I go back. Where? I'm pretty sure I went everywhere. What you missed? I think I've been down this way, have I? I oh, know, wasn't this where Hansy was? I think this was just where Hansy was at. Game is okay. It's a little weird. Every time he needs work. Yeah, another note. Awesome. Oh, lady, fuck off. Die! Enemy slutty monster. Level up. I want a second plague weapon. percent of wounds that sounds fun no wait I want yeah there we go. hey how do I swap I thought it was just pressed down to swap why is down not working talent strategies press down to switch between plague weapons level one and two Maybe it's like only in combat or something weird. I feel like Soulsborn. It feels like Sekiro's little brother that grew up playing Bloodborne, but because he's Sekiro's little brother, he doesn't know how to Bloodborne and just how to parry. So, instead he just tried his best to be like Bloodborne, but at the end of the day he was still a Sekiro child.
Both plague weapons have to be active to switch between them. What do you mean? Active. Yeah, it's but so far it's it's pretty easy. Like these both look active. What do you mean? Plague weapon screen. Yeah, look. Green. Green. Let me try doing this. Let me try. Put you there. You there. Alright, they're both green. I still can't. I can only do one. Put to the main menu. I love when I get upgrades and I can't use those upgrades because of bugs. I already unlocked the talent. There we go. Now they're working. That's that's always fun. Alright, uh, so what does this do? Consume health instead of energy. When Corvus doesn't have enough energy, Corvus's health cannot go below one. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. 30% chance to reduce it. Small amount of energy is restored. Increase item drop rate. Permanently gain. I mean, the item drop rate could be good. It could be good. Interrupt them, I get the speed charge. That up. Alright, let's go let's go fight the boss that everyone says I should be worried about. I have it on, bro. Show me. A lot of backseating. Y'all gotta listen. We don't do we don't do backseating here, okay? Relax. I am fucking up. If I'm making mistakes, that's on me. You don't need to tell me how to play. There is a very high chance you probably came to this channel to learn how to play. Trust me when I say I will figure it out on my own. I don't need you to tell me how to do it. Red light appears before they will perform an ultimate that cannot be deflected, dodged, or interrupted. Instead, Corvus must avoid its range. You just gotta fucking run. Oh, it took me two hours. Great way to get good. <laughs> it's fast. Look at that.
he hits pretty hard. I don't get why why can't we just like go up? Why does there have to be two separate doors to reach the boss? Sixty-two memories. I ain't worried about that. Okay, I got, I got a little bit. I know what he's doing now. Thanks, Bushy. Alright, so we got dodge and stab would be good. Hey cowboy, missed your birthday stream. Treat yourself to something nice, buddy. Wait, oh wait, I take more damage from the deflect, but I have a larger time window. I see. Okay, that's shitty. I was like, why am I losing so much health? And then that explains it. I just need to get down the, the parry timings, that's all. That was one of my things. Oh, I fucked up. So was phase, phase one's pretty easy. Might be better off with this. Well, no, hang on. Finally, finally got a good fight going.
Ah, I'm taking too much hits. Gotta get cleaner on the phase one. <coughs> Almost at it. Well, I feel like his phase two... His phase two is probably supposed to have some extra shit on board. But I feel like he, uh... I gotta get down. There's, there's a, I'm like messing up some stuff too. trying to do like super build up his gauge <clears throat> what I'm gonna what I'm gonna try and do here is basically take the boss out in like four phases like completely decimate his his thing and then just focus on just keeping wound damage going I need to, I don't think I'll be able to. I think I need to weave the claw in for the regen. I think I need to work my special in later because it does a percentage damage thing. Oh shit, wrong button. And I keep... I wonder if I can rebind buttons. Let's see. If I can re... Because I'm, I'm probably fucking up one specific thing. Uh... I don't think I can. I don't see it anywhere. Ooh. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Um. Potion. All the flak plague. Dodge sprint. There we go. Alright. 
So I kept hitting down to try and heal, and I'd just be sitting there like this, swapping my weapons, and I'm like, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I'm fucking up. phone in the middle of the boss fight. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm already fucked. I've lost too much health. I'll be right back. Alright. <laughs> Let me look at some of the other talent tree, because right now my biggest problem is it's hard to fucking stay on top of these assholes. I might. Let me try that, just because the long claw will probably advance on the enemy faster. Oh no, that's what I fucking need. I need feather dashing to stay on top of this asshole, probably. 
Do I take off? I'm gonna try the long claw out as well, just to see if that will advance on him better or not. I'm not sure. The long claw is going to be better here, I think. slower there. But the long one, let me let me go back and forth here. That way I have my claw regen, and I can use the feathers to stay on top of them. I hate that every time I walk in here, it's like, doorway, doorway, hold A to skip. Like, just get me into the fuck. Oh. Yeah, that worked. So now I got two of my heals left over for the second phase of shittiness.
In the corner you go, bitch. said this boss was taking people like two ass hours shit only get easier oof oof Yeah, having the feathers to stay on top of the target, that was a huge difference. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't that bad and his his uh parry timing was pretty simple as well. He kind of, honestly, this is this is, this might be a reach, but the parry timing Subquests, destroy cysts. The the parry timing reminded me a little bit of uh, Genichiro. The like ding ding, the back and forth that he was doing real fast. Some Genichiro vibes. Um, our damage feels good. Let's boost our health. Everything feels pretty good. Um, like that. It gets me back in faster. Counterattack gauge is reduced. Would probably be good. Yeah, so doing the feathers. Ah, the only... Upgrade. Shin. I don't know if I want to use these too much. Flip it for now. Um, knock enemies back, gain one stack of miasma buff. Corvus disappears when dodging and can dodge for unlimited times. Oh, so just infinite dodges. I'm not that interested in that. So what I'm trying to figure out here is... Find daggers in the sleeve. Change feather attack to dodging. Throwing out dagger at the same time. Interrupt cure. Deal 5 attack damage, 50% of them. Deal 10 attack damage. So, I'm trying to think. Does it, like, when it says, for example, 5 attack and 300% amount of wounds, does that mean I'm going to do 5 armor damage and 50% wound damage generation? Whereas like this, that's gonna be that's gonna be fat attack damage, or it's gonna be even. Two fifty attack, two fifty wounds. This is gonna end up dealing wounds. Whereas this, it looks like the hammer is gonna be just straight damage, damage. Like it's gonna do the white bar. But what's weird is like, so when you're damaging the white bar, you're creating wound bar at the same time. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm struggling to understand here, I guess. I'll just have to use this and see what kind of, like if I hit somebody. So if I hit you with this. Okay, so yeah, it'll just... He's, like, ready to die if I hit him with that. By comparison, if I, uh...
I got hit, I guess. Red thing for takedowns, you can use your claw, steal the weapon, and get a better chance at shards. Thymesia? Nah, Thymesia. Thigh. Thigh. Thymesia. Thymesianin. Thymesia. Oh, you're not that good when I play with you. Extended action. Heal kind of slow. Yeah, so that'll so attack. Deckers. So the hammer, the hammer's the good shit so far. The hammer is what beats ass. This hammer, I can just straight bonk. Because building up the wound gauge is easy. Keeping the wound gauge down, that actually takes effort. Animations are a little janky still. Like, <laughs> see the guy's body just 
Well, there goes off the ledge. I need stuff that does more more attack damage. Building up wound damage is super easy. I don't know if that actually. Need more hammer people. looks really empty yeah there it's i don't know this this level doesn't seem to be the best either there's not a lot of i don't know there's just not a lot of like life vibrancy you know uh, how do i get my every six seconds oh, the, the feathers come back faster no i want that energy that energy claw thing i want that back because i dropped that for the boss but that's useful And get it, idiot. Knife seems really shitty. Yeah, I might go back to the instant heal. It's it's the delay on this one. How like there is a there is a whole ass second that you gotta wait before you're getting it off.
I do like how Longclaw was taking literal chunks off the enemy. That is nice. But I feel like the Speedy Claw... I don't know, man. Speedy Claw feels really good. Short Claw, whatever it's supposed to be called. Is that a handsy dude? That's a hammer man, cool. Is, what the fuck is happening? Why is he not... Oh, he's out of bounds, so he can't take damage? That's bullshit. That's shitty. Shitty... Like, what the fuck's happening here? Like, my guy's taking zero damage from me. Now we gotta pull this off with, like, no juice in the tank. Definitely, uh, definitely a bit fucked. I'll say that for sure. I guess I don't gotta repop those stupid things out of my way. Uh, da 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 da. Oh, out of the way, lady. Fuck off of me, bro. See, it's hard to say if he dropped extra because I did the claw execute, or if he dropped extra just because he's an elite, and the elites tend to drop extras. I do want to go back to long claw and play with that, and it's uh, the bleed it provides a little bit more. Double the fun. So that's it. Recall completed. Does that mean I just... Is there... Oh, get the fuck off me, lady. Um, 
do I leave? It's like, is the, the mission, is the mission done? Are you fraught hammer bows the exit? Got it. That was actually just like right here. Oh, that's just what up. Yep, it's everything that happened. Take me away. We're going back to the... I mean, I don't know. I have to look at the upgrades. Is there an upgrade for this heal that makes it better? Because right now, this heal just takes too long to go off. Yeah, to our stream mark. Looks like I don't get to refund it anymore. But I'm enjoying myself enough. I mean, it is a pity, because honestly, if I'd had this early, this pro like I probably could have done a pretty fun walkthrough for this, given it's kind of shorter. Figure out, you know, what would have been the the best talents to unlock all that shit. Would have been a good time. It might be useful for if I need to get out of the range of like certain shit. I'm gonna go over to Long Claw, try that out some. Gliding Claw deals a lot of damage to enemy moves, but that would only be useful if I get. Uh, I don't know if I, I mean I feel like if you're doing step jump you're not going feather because I feel like this is like the Makiri counter and there's moves that build around that if you're doing step jump I feel like going into feather doesn't make as much sense let me let me take away my feather stuff I'll pick up step jump And then I'll do... The Gliding Claw, and um... I'll try, I'll test the jump out. I don't think I need that much. Um... Extra energy restoration? Sure, why not? I guess, I don't know if I need that. I got my deflect looking good already. What is it here? Oh yeah, I should have picked that up ages ago. That would have that would have kept me at fucking perfect full energy probably the whole damn game. Step jump is way better than well. So with with fast claw, with fast claw, I actually don't don't mind it because with the fast claw, it was useful for me to I can throw it out and then dash up on the target. Listen.
if I gotta go this way. Oh. The long claw does do a lot of fucking damage. That's for sure. There's the fucking thing at, dude. Fuck off, lady. I'm not here for you. I'm dead. I can't find- I don't see the thing. Yeah, it's up top. It's gotta be. Do you think? Um... It's very different. I would play it first, see if you like it before you're like all in on all on it. I mean, yeah, use the use the two hour refund period to see if it's for you. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing in this level. Is it hunting a boss? Yeah. Huh. Oh, I give there are there are negative shits to give about the lore pickups. See, that's why that potion sucks balls. You have to find a lore pickup for this mission. Great. What's this? Oh, okay, never mind. I'm going the right way. Might be like a shortcut later. Yeah. Yeah, when I see the lore pickups, I'm just like, no. much bullshit. Some fun, boys, but I gotta go. Oh, come on. No, nope, come on. Up I go. Let's go. No, this is not like Bloodborne. This is like Sekiro if you had more special powers. Dude, this is Seven Spears Ashima. I thought I'd step dodged. The green is the the green is the critical, right? comes. I mean, I tried doing it the same. Do I have to press it and go towards them, I guess?
feel like I can get a shortcut near here. Ow. Oh my god. Ah, oh, shit, wrong button. No, I dodged into it. Oh, my God, dude. Is it the greatest Souls like you've played? Bro, this isn't even the greatest indie Souls like I've played. Like, this is okay. This is. This is not in any of the greats at all. This feels like Sekiro Light. Fucking dude. God damn it. Why do they have so much health? Because indie souls likes never know what they're doing. Which indie souls is the best? Uh, if we're I mean if we're strictly looking at like not big publisher indie, it would be Mortal Shell for sure. If we're looking at just something that's not Dark Souls, it would be neat. You gotta fucking stop. Oh my god, it's so fucking annoying, dude. I'd rather fight the boss again. These- nothing is- I hate nothing more than when the game has elite enemies that are stronger than fucking bosses. Shit is fucking annoying. Like, there's no reason this stupid thing should be hitting that hard. Still hitting the gym? Obviously, why would I not be? You think these arms come from just sitting at home? Come on, son. You know we hit in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> 
fucking die. Dude was obnoxious. We, we, we were doing our Makiri counter there. You saw it. I think it gives you just a higher chance of them dropping... Oh, bro, I can see it, but I can't get to it. Like the basic enemies, it doesn't seem like their shard chances increase at all. There's a door, get back. Door cut. It says locked. Shy, always coming in with the gift subs. I'm ever short on gift subs. I know Shy got me. This is where I fought annoying guy at. Can't jump and it makes any skill from air useless. You can jump, you just have to get a... You have to parry a critical attack to jump. So it is a situational jump. Can't freely jump though. Which does feel pretty fucking weird to have so many skills centered around the leaping attack if it's as situational as it is. Give subs go to random people. I think for now they do, but I'm pretty sure they're working on... I think they're working on being able to, like, target people. I don't know if you can, if it's set up so you can just target whoever you have. Alright. Well, there was nothing else down there before, I don't think. I recommend it. It's the million dollar question, isn't it? I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, there's times where the... There's times where the combat feels way too fucking easy. And then on the flip side, there's times where the combat is... Definitely too hard. Balance issues. Um, so far, the first boss I thought was pretty cool. I like the boss. Um, besides that, 
I don't know. Like I'm enjoying it, but this I, like I don't think this is. Oh, let's let's put it this way. It's fun, but it's not winning any game of the year. But I mean, it is only 20 bucks, so I'd say it's probably worth it for 20 bucks. Get a shortcut. Then. is coming back. I was reading something about how this movie pass thing is gonna be doing like you watch ads and get the movie for free but it implements like eye tracking to make sure you're paying attention to the ads or it doesn't qualify you or some shit. It's like straight out a fucking episode of uh that, that fucking weird show. Like black black something. Black Mirror, yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely some Black Mirror shit right there. to the Sea of Trees Market. Neato. Beat him. Damn. My health is gone. I went that way already. I didn't see anything. It's that way. Shortcut. This is like the start. More elites. I need a thing. I need a rest thing. That's what we wanted.
Yeah, I really don't know about the whole... I don't know about the long thing. Feels like I'm just replaying the whole fucking level. Wait, did that thing just parry me? What the fuck? Yeah, we're still- well, we're doing like submissions in the first level. It's- it's very- it, it is very samey at times. Not a giant fan of the whole like just replay the same level that you just played thing. Cause we're just like we're literally just replaying the same fucking level. Going through it backwards. Just looking for shit to kill and shit to fight and has it but there's a lot more clarity in what you're doing in Neo like one of the big one of the big differences in Neo is when Neo does a side mission it's like you know collect these five chests or kill this boss or whatever the case is and usually a large chunk of the level is closed off so you're not rerunning the entirety of the level in Neo you're usually rerunning a smaller portion of it and so you're just, you're only doing that, like, mini portion of the level to get the objective, you know? It might literally just be running in and whooping a boss, and that's it. Uh, whereas this... This feels like we're redoing the whole, like, I mean, god, I feel like we've done the whole fucking level, practically. I don't know. To me, everything is just like, it's just all blending together at this point. I 
I can hear the baby throwing a shit fit over something. Albert just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, I like the general potion. I mean, even if it doesn't heal as much. I don't know. I don't know. I'll play with it a little bit more, but I'm starting to lean away from it. Is this where I fought Qatar? I think this is where I fought the Qatar person. I'm gonna go back to the uh, the the circus tent. Yeah, the submissions. Well, I mean, the submissions are where I'm getting like half my upgrade mats and shit, though. Bro, if I fucking die here... How? How did he not die? He had no health! Fucking game is blurst. All I gotta do is hit him. And he's just like, no. No. I might go back to the fast claw. Like, I feel like the other claw works better sometimes, but fast claw doesn't suffer from that bullshit. My heal just, like, not fucking go up? No, it didn't. Fucking great sword. Got some basil off his ass. I'm gonna go cook up some chicken. Game isn't good, clunky like Lords of the Fallen. No. No, 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 no. This game has its issues, but Lords of the Fallen is a different kind of heavy. This is not like Lords of the Fall.
I don't know. Dude, the, honestly, the Lords of the Fallen... The Lords of the Fallen... That's... It's such a fucking weird rebrand. Like, it's a sequel, but... It's the Lords of the Fallen. Set a thousand years in the future, it's about... The Lords. Like, almost no one knows the story of the original anyway. I mean, imagine, like, literally any other game doing that. Like, ah, yes, you've played Dark Souls, now get ready to play the Dark Souls. You'd be like, wait, <laughs> what? Yes. A new sequel to the exciting journey is coming, titled The Dark Souls. You'd be like, what the fuck? Well, is, so, it, The Dark Souls, is it, like, Dark Souls 2? No, no, it's... The Dark Souls. As opposed to just Dark Souls, now it's The Dark Souls. These are important ones. Oh, I'm so fucking lost. Where do I go? Ah, suck off. Suck my balls. I don't know you. Let me try going this. Wasn't there a thingy up here? I like, I literally don't even know. I don't even know which way I came from anymore. It's, just, it's all blended together. Go to the stairs with the mist. I, don't, I think I need to get the cyst before I can do that. This is the, the find the note one. So I gotta remember, I don't even remember where the guitar guy was, though. It's all just the blending together. Alright, do I go this way? Which way is this? I think it was, it was where the fuck was guitar man? Back up the bridge. Y'all are gonna need to to be more specific. Upward slash, break enemy super armor, knock him into the air. Three fifty. Three fifty attack. Three fifty wounds. Fifty attack and three fifty wound. It's four hundred percent and one hundred fifty attack. The rope bridge where you're at. Go up. Bro, everything's respawning. Okay, I don't this this way. Through the door. The rope bridge. Alright, this was Qatar lady. Up. Go up. Yeah. Bitch! I will say the whole like... Attack, attack. Oh god, thank god I got it.
Where's the misty shit? I saw a little girl, I'm just seeing if there's like another, if there's like one more elite waiting for me upstairs or something. I feel like there probably is. For an upgrade or something? No? I just had to dodge through all that shit for no reason? Cool. Fuck this side quest, I'm out. Yes, that's all I can remember. Ugh. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. she's gonna yeah, we'll play for a bit longer and check out the uh, the second level how many levels are there go to the phone is bad I like the new trailer never set your expectations or excitement based on a trailer because I have seen tons and tons and tons of trailers and then the game comes out oh fuck there's another one what's this God of the Fools. It 
Sounds like a boss type thing. I like bosses. Four main areas. So we do this subquest and we're a quarter through the game already. Yikes. Looks like the light has it's gotten brighter. It's nice. What's the, the last potion? Fast acting, health recovery, 100. General for two. Long lasting healer. No, I think we'll just do this. I think the general potion is just gonna be the best. Upgrade the, the slots. Forgotten feather. Levels and attributes, cool. F potion. Extra health recovery. Extra health recovery. So more damage. And this puts it at 300 health. Okay, I like that. Feeling of the game is... I don't want to upgrade the potion. I just want to get rid of the fucking... Oh my god, stop! Hell, it's like, it's like forcing me to... You should upgrade it. Like, no, I don't want to. Go away. Get rid of that fucking thing. Just gotta jump down? I guess so. What's up, ugly? He's a big one. The oh, fuck? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? It's like Dragon God. It's literally Dragon God. As a reminder, you don't need to say, don't fight, just run. You don't need to fucking do any of that. Just let me, let me make my mistakes. If I die, I die. You don't need to tell me you're gonna die, be careful. We don't need, we don't need to do that. We don't do that here. Y'all know this. Remember, you can also, you can play the game yourself if you want. But right now, I am playing. So just let, let me play. That does nothing. why I usually don't stream Souls Lights for the first time. Everybody, everybody wants to tell me what to do.
those things. Actually, you have your ability sucks anyway. Ow. 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 Oh, come on. You're gonna fucking kill me, aren't you? Lady. <laughs> Shit. I gotta redo the whole fucking thing. I do, don't I? I do, don't I? Oh, this boss sucks balls. Who thought this was a good idea? I mean, this is literally just the Dragon God fight. This is all this is. This is Dragon God. Dragon God, The Last of Us Zombie Edition. No, fuck off, lady! <laughs> it's gonna be a shortest 100% walkthrough, but we need one? No. Not doing it. I'm playing this, I'm streaming it, and that is all. Oh my god, get the fuck off of me! I need to erupt the cysts. I feel like it makes climbing out of the areas much harder. What do you mean? What do you mean you are that soul sky? What, the walkthrough soul sky?
There's gotta be a fucking shortcut back to her. There should be at least. Alright, we're gonna try and do the ladder strat. Fuck off. Oh my god. I blame that asshole. Oh, fuck this, dude. This ball sucks. This is, this is, oh, oh. I have fought a lot of shitty Souls-like bosses in my day. But this one, oh boy. It's like they were like, what can we do to make a boss that's like Bed of Chaos but worse? Is there like a dirty area and a safe area or something? Yeah, there is. Massive gimmick boss.
Yeah, it's, it's the Dark Souls 3 weapon. But with even more bullshit. It's, it's like the Bed of Chaos, Dragon God, and Dark Souls 3 Weavern all decided to just get together and collaborate on a boss. This is not like Bloodborne at all. Nothing about this game is like Bloodborne. With the exception of the fact that you're like a plague doctor, I guess. That is the that is the only Bloodborne-esque aspect of this game. Pick up the second dodge. Should be good. We got energy on a hit. We got gliding claw. Increase gliding claw with that. Uh, put short claw back on. <laughs> I don't know if I like Long Claw or the other one more. One out of ten, what's your opinion? Uh, I mean, I'm only at the very start of the game. But where we're at right now. <laughs> like, honestly, the, the boss fight is the only part about this that I've been like, this is good. Like, it was the only part that was genuinely enjoyable. <laughs> Tentacles couldn't stop him. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a review, maybe. <laughs> Seven. Did I beat him with short or fast? I think I, I think I had the short claw when I fought him before. I'm not sure.
Biomutant was fucking terrible. Biomutant is one of the worst games I've played on my channel. What was that? Let me try going for the fast. Lock another plague weapon. This. Unstack a fool's punch, enhance the next predator claw. Hanson can break enemy super armor, 150 attack, 150 claw, boring, don't want. is annoying. This thing's got big fucking hair stuck on me. Try something real fast.
right. Yeah, definitely not a Souls like if we can pause. Sure, I parry that, but okay. We'll just we'll say you got it. Cool. I think this will work better though. You can parry. Wait, you can't parry yellow? What? Hold up. So they're like a. <clears throat> no, that's red light. Red light or ultimate that can't be parried. Uh, we haven't seen anything about yellow attacks. I fucked that up. I'm probably dead here unless I can get off the heel. No, man. It's so fucking stupid. There's a perk that you can get to where you can recover after knockbacks, and I feel like I have to have it. That's so shitty. Because if it wasn't for that knockback, I would have been fine. But because I got knockback, I couldn't get up. And because I got it, couldn't get up, I couldn't heal. So now I gotta go pick up that stupid fucking perk. If I don't have it, I'm not gonna be able to do what I need to do. What do I pull out of? Energy, maybe? I'm barely using my, my stuff. Let's pull, no. I need step jump. I need long dodge. No, I, I don't need extra energy. Fuck that. And energy on my deflects. Where's my recover? Recover. Yeah, this. B to get up quickly. I need to work my, my energy attacks in more. Oh. 
problem is the fucking spear takes so long. That's fucking annoying. I can't carry all of that no matter how tight my timing is. the jump there, but I didn't. What was I even? That's so whack, dude. What was I even supposed to do there? That's the. You can't dodge, you can't evade. The only thing you can do is get out of the range. And I had like. What did he give me there? A second and a half? Like the ultimate went up, and I was just like, oh, uh, okay. Like I didn't even have. I couldn't move away if I even if I wanted to. How was I supposed to avoid that? Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck me up, bro. Thanks so much.
Like, am I supposed to clear this whole thing, or am I supposed to, like, come back and fight this guy later? Because it feels like this dude is just... <laughs> like... I feel like I need to hit fucking... Every single parry flawlessly. Why am I suddenly fucking floundering? Nope. Oh wait, I can still win. I can still do this, I think. Using claw at the wrong times, it doesn't do damage on its own. Actually, Brandon, you're fucking wrong. I'm not using claw to do damage whatsoever. I'm using claw for the amount of healing that it's pulling in while pulling down his bar while by doing parries. Therefore, I went for the parry tree that deals a shit ton of normal damage, generating the wounds, having the claw to take off the wounds while continually healing myself with the claw and keeping up offensive stacks. So maybe don't backseat and worry about what I'm doing because I know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay? Sound good to you? Good. Thanks. Fucking people. Literally doing a infinite fucking healing claw setup. You're not using claw right. Well, it seems to me like I sure as fuck am. God damn, dude. No, bullshit didn't hit. There's just somebody being a fucking idiot. I don't like- I don't like backseating. I don't like people trying to tell me that I need to play the way they think I need to play, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about half the time. And for those confused, let me- let me- let me explain. So, the basic idea is you're supposed to do regular attacks to get rid of the white health bar, and then these attacks to get rid of the, the, the green, of the teal health bar. The claw doesn't really do much to the white, and this isn't going to do anything to the green. So you have to weave in two separate attacks. However, none of that is relevant if you have this deflect tree. So you're doing here, so that you every deflect you do is, in, 
is making them take a shit ton of white damage. So my deflects are doing the same thing that my normal attacks would be doing, which is why I didn't have to do normal attacks that entire fight. And because I'm doing that, I'm able to use short claws, which with this is giving me constant stacks of offensive buffs, and then I have this as well. So what I'm doing is only using claw, maintaining five stacks of offensive buff, constantly pulling my health in for the duration of the fight. My health just keeps going up and up and up and up and up, and I don't need to worry about attacking because my deflect is destroying the boss's health gauge. Now, somebody that knows what they're talking about with the game would have obviously seen this and gone, wow, that's a really fucking OP setup. But instead, we had some jackass come in and go, yeah, that's not how you use claw. Well, it sure as fuck seems like it works out well the way I'm doing it, so. People always want to tell you that they know how you're supposed to play. No, I don't. I don't think you do. I literally can't put anything else into the play. I need to, like, unlock these trees farther. That might be worth it. The defensive buff. Much. And my parries is off. Who's the guy throwing shit at me? That's the thing that has to die. I will say the boss, the, the boss parry timings seem way better than normal enemy parry timings. Gauge just keeps fucking climbing up. That's what we're doing. I don't need to kill him. I can do this just to fucking heal. Now that I'm full health, we'll actually kill him. guy is insane. Yeah, we, uh, first Odor was down in like 20 minutes.
counter crits. Mm. first. If I went that way, I'd go down. I asked my mom again, and she said Claw doesn't heal. Claw, Claw does heal. If you spec into it. Like, we literally just looked at it. Claw heals. You spec into Claw for healing, and Claw heals. That's how it works. You make it heal. What the fuck, dude? Some of these sword and shield guys are like insanely strong. Yes, I'm gonna play Steel Rising when it comes out. I'll probably play Steel Rising before it comes out, because those publishers actually reply to emails, unlike the ones of a similar souls like I know of. up by these dudes probably. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I can fight all of them. Bar, my head's covering it up. I like this, you can see. Oh, 
Oh, come on the fuck on, dude. What? What's the point? Why? Why even get the shortcut if this dickhead's gonna shoot you every time you try to fucking use it? I don't even know what the purpose of coming this way is. I guess it's the shortcut for later that you get. Let me see what you're supposed to do. So if you come, come down. You go cut that way. You don't, and you cut this way instead. It's weird, like, the the, t the parry interrupts for bosses are way different than normal enemies. Like, I feel like you need to have the longer parry timings for some of these. Come on. Stop, stop. Fuck, pause the game. Asshole. Coming for you soon enough. Alright, so. I don't understand the oh I guess it's because it can lead you into this area. It's 
the diary. Lots of lyrium around here. Oh, the William is definitely going to win some awards. Let me open this shortcut. This is the route we want to go on. What are you? Seems like that causes a ton of root, like, uh, ton of the color damage. But I'm not sure where the hell we go from here. I mean, that's a good spot to farm scythe if I just wanted to level up my scythe. Where did we go past the lyrium? Down? We, we didn't go down yet, did we? and contend with ER this year or maybe Chronicles 3 and God of War. Honestly, I, Horizon Forbidden West might be up there. Like, it wasn't bad. It was just it got overshadowed by Elden Ring because of like, launching like on top of each other. Like, Forbidden West was a really fucking good game. Actually, I gave, like, at, at launch, I gave Forbidden West a higher score than Elden Ring. Because Forbidden West was fucking polished. Whereas Elden Ring was a buggy mess. Elden Ring still got bugs on PC version. And as much as I love Xenoblade, and I'm having an absolute blast playing it on my own still, I can tell you right now, Xenoblade ain't gonna win the game of the year. If there's like a JRPG of the year category, yes, 100%. But it's not gonna win game of the year, it just it won't. Because weed games don't win awards like that. What the fuck are you? I don't like you. Nope. Do not like that thing at all. That thing took almost no damage. I can't play Disappointment of the Game called Forbidden West. It's dumb and boring. 
But dude, it's literally a 10 out of 10. It's quite possibly the best game that's come out this year. If we are considering overall scope of game and polish. I don't know what is dumb and boring about it to you, but those are both, like... I mean, I've seen some bad fucking takes in my years of streaming. And suggesting Forbidden West is dumb and boring? Whew! That's fucking up there. That is... Oh! That's bad. Dude, the story is not boring in Forbidden West. The story in Forbidden West is fantastic. Y'all are out of your mind. Too much bullshit here to heal. Damn, you got fucked up. Blood the blade. Let's see what it does. Oh, we got some puku. No, that's gonna do some shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Horizon Forbidden Woke? Yo, yeah, I forgot, man. It's not straight white guys. Must be woke. <laughs> Fucking moron. sound like the kind of idiot that when they take harsh chemicals out of Elmer's glue because kids were accidentally eating it, you were actually upset and called it woke because it was your favorite fucking bedtime snack. Oh, man. Honestly, stupid people are a fucking plague. Stray has a chance of winning like an indie of the year. Right now, I'd say it's Stray, Neon White, and uh, Ult of the Lamb are all up there as potential indie game of the year contenders. Thing I need. I have max deflect. I have deflect getting me energy. 
I don't need saber attacks. I'm doing the other stuff. I guess heal on execution would be nice to pick up. I have dodge and step jump. I don't need energy on that. I guess I could go energy on claw. I'm not using feathers anymore. That's kind of cool. Or item drop rate, maybe. I might just start going. Well, the only things I, I, I could could use that I don't have. Oh, wait, what is this? Just straight saber attack damage? Oh, that's nice. Let's do this. We'll just bump our, we'll make our sabers stronger. I don't need energized weapon since I got energized on the other thing. Combo attack deals 200, 200 mana wounds. Smash attack deals 200, 200 mana wounds. Oh. Boom. Boom. You're looking at 800 damage total on that? Greatsword's looking better than the tentacles. Only attack damage, 250% amount of wounds, or 50 attack damage health when landed. That's kind of cool. Life is getting... Extra damage, consume 100 health when casting. Yeah, I like that. The bow is the most OP? Really? What, Jack? What? What, buddy? What? I mean, Elden Ring will probably win it, but... If Ragnarok will be out in time to compete for game of the year because there's like that age cutoff and there's a certain date your game has to be out by
Fuck off. Off date is the November 19th. Mag is out on the 8th. Ooh. It is just scraping by. Barely making the cut. Great sword's really nice just for the knockdown. Game of the year last year? Uh, I don't know. It was a while ago. Oh yeah, it takes two. It takes two, one. That is right. It takes two. Alright, so Saber, I don't think there's any... I mean, unless I go Healing Execution, which I don't think is needed. It could be nice, but it's not needed. So just straight damage is nice. And then we have Dodge and Stab. Go for those instead. Deflect, we're done. Dodge, we're done. Claw. I don't really need energy on Claw. I mean, I could get that, I guess. Doesn't hurt. I think from here, I might just start. I guess I'll get energy on Claw. I'll get item drop. Second. Alright. What the hell? There we go. Um, how close are we to like a good checkpoint? Paige was asking if I can wrap up and watch baby for a bit. Might wrap up, watch the baby. 
than Jim. Optional boss, probably. I feel like we gotta be close to like the first boss of, of the second level. Do you? closer are we to like a boss or like a major checkpoint? I guess we just passed a, a rest spot. That might be it's about to wrap. Feels like we're coming up on something. Not run away. Hmm. 
I am enjoying it, but man, people were a lot of people were talking this game out. They're like, oh man. It must be so hard, bro. Like, no, it is not. This is no. No. In fact, I would I would go as far as to argue that this is probably one of the easiest Souls likes I have played. Lore person. Alright, so that's all you do is you're just lore person before I can go away. Gives you souls? Wait, what? How? Do I have to like shower shit and I get souls? supposed to eat those collection of memories. English son, speak it. So, let's see, items, keep plaza, bloodstained dagger, oh, I have 75 of these things, so I'm about to get like a bajillion levels, it sounds like. Reset the level. Not that much. <laughs> it went 79. Let me go kill stuff to get up to 69. find something up ahead instead. This, is this, this looks like a boss. Is this like a mini boss? Or is this the boss boss? 
You're not supposed to drink 12 bottles of water a day. There's no actual scientific evidence behind that. You wanna know how much water you're supposed to drink? You're supposed to drink when you're thirsty. Right? Saying like a real boss. No, stop that shit. We're not doing that. Stop that. Stop fucking healing, lady. So that was the but that what that was it? You fucking kidding me, dude? That was a joke. I didn't even have to do anything. Like the first boss, I actually had to like practice timings and stuff. This one, I just had to dodge and slap it. <laughs> Fucking just blew it away. Whack. Uh, anyway, I think we'll wrap up here. That's a, that's a good... We got through two of the levels. We'll, we'll pick up with the mini missions in the next part. This game definitely doesn't need to walk through, but we'll at least play through it to completion. Uh, but we're going to wrap things up. Maybe I'll do more of this tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. Ugh. I got to go. I got to figure out if I'm going to the gym today or tomorrow. Depends on a uh, baby, really. Baby's going to stay asleep. But anyway, y'all have a good night. Catch you guys later. Peace.